a starting Six Sigma project. Once you determine customer's requirement, you need to, to determine what is the data needed to make improvements. First, team will start the continuous quality improvement. The first thing to do is to make the staff aware and trained about what is the project that we are going to start. So before cutting the tape, you have to train and aware your staff about what is the problem area that we are going to work on it and what is the methodology that we are going to apply. The Six Sigma project usually in Six Sigma, it comes from the higher authority, not like the TQM, the total quality management. Usually we said every department to sit together to find out problematic area and then to uh, vote it twice and then to make it three and then prioritize it. And while brainstorming and taking all the problems, those problems within the reach, they can work on it. If it is out of your reach, raise it to the higher authority. This, the, the problematic area that comes from the higher authority, with uh, it will give an idea about what is the internal customer voice. And through the patient survey, we will take external customer voice. These two will be placed on the table of the higher authority to take a decision which area we are going to start with. This is why we said in Six Sigma, it is a top-down methodology. That means that the decision to implement it comes from the top and to the staff. That is why we are in need of buy-in or commitment of the staff because the decision came from up. Sometimes it is belong to the voice of the customer of internal customers and sometimes it is will uh, make them doing something that they didn't like or they didn't accept from the uh, it is not their own question so the key consideration of six sigma is the desire to meet the needs of the customer who receive the product staff are customers and they could be internal or our staff is internal customer that's why we need the buy-in it does mean that the agreement of the staff to support the decision of the brochure. Where to start? In which area? In the area where the business does not meet the customer needs. So I have to apply the Six Sigma in the area of the business of the business that does not meet but I have too much uh, areas or too much problematic areas, which 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 I have to start with. I have to, uh, the basic in TQM is prioritization matrix, either using the prioritization that we have discussed or a cost to effect to a time of application and so, and giving weighing the scores or using the joint commission prioritization metrics. In Six Sigma, they are using the cost benefit analysis. And there is a tool known as Barito Priority Index. It, it reflects the cost benefit analysis. It, the formula is the Barito Priority Index is the saving multiplied by the probability of success divided over the cost and completion time. It does mean that if I have high saving and high probability of success, 
I will choose this because the Pareto priority will be more than one, will be good. If I have high cost or long completion time, I am not going to choose this project because it is cost benefit analysis. Pareto priority index is not good. Let us give example to see what is it. The financial division sit with the master built expert Six Sigma, uh, Six Sigma team leader with the champion from the higher administration level of the organization because they will put the list of the project and they can put they can put down for each project how much saving could be done they can predict the probability of success the cost in thousand the completion time months because they are expert in money in administration and in previous project so they will can predict how much is the saving for each product the probability of success the cost and the time of application and they will apply it in the priority Pareto priority index and they will give us the index 250 multiplied by 995 divided by 25 by 4.5 it will give this 221 2.1, 2 2.5, 2 2.4, 7.3. There is point here. All of these are almost near each other, except project C. So in this table, the outcomes of Barito priority index for A, B, and D are almost in line, but the project C is significantly higher. Therefore, the project which I'm going to choose is project C. What you have to know that how they can judge the priority, what is the area to be worked on through Barito priority index, how it could be calculated, saving multiplied by the success divided by the cost multiplied by the completion time. You are not be asked to do it, but you have to know what is it. There is other element on deciding what project, what we are going to use, which is the reputation of our organization, the stakeholder and the staff point of view, the supplier timing. If I am starting project that the uh, the items will giving delay, I would don't want it. The staffing is available to apply this project or not. I am in need of too much staff with certain skills. So to start a Six Sigma project, I am in need of specify a champion which is a high administering, high administrator, sponsoring the project, putting down the resources and deployment of the project, have some training of Six Sigma, but his main role is to nominate the black belt and to remove the blo uh, block in the road, uh, blocks in the road of the uh, Six Sigma project. So the champion is a high administration level who sponsored the project, put down resourcing and have some knowledge of Six Sigma. And his role in the start to nominate what is the black belt or black one who can run the project. The process owner is the manager of the area where the process will be work on. If I'm going to start a Six Sigma project in the dental lab, 
the process owner is the director of the dental lab because he knows what is the steps and processes inside his uh, area and we need his cooperation to work with because most of the changes will be done in the processes under his authority the black belt will be the six sigma project manager he talk with the process owner to understand what is the process and to choose together the team members of the project because the team members are some of them are uh, uh, built holder and some other staff that know the different processes inside the uh, area. After deciding what is the project, we have to nominate the black belt from within the business to lead the project. Again, the black belt with the financial, with the champion, we will put resources, how much the cost and resources needed for the project. The black belt talk with the process owner to understand the process and choose together what are the team members. Resources from daily operation will be diverted to project the different activities inside the project while it is going on a team from the organization will be trained and invest a part of their time to run the project in the area money and persons are important but the most critical point in the project to be run properly is communication continuously from the start and along with all the time of the project while it is running this communication between the master belt master black belt and the process owner with the team it is a continuous communication that will give us what is the data needed gathering data needed to be work on it what is the process and then what is the changes that has been done so it is a continuous communication from the uh, step zero till the end of the project